Hello friends, this video on decimals part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this is where the concept of decimal point comes into picture. So let us look at this example. So let us say that you have this number. So these are the chairs. The chairs represent the position of each digit in the number. So you have a number made up of 5 digits 2, 4, 5, 1 and 6. And we have also mentioned the places for each digit. So where is ones? Because we always start from ones. So this is ones. So five is at the ones place, four is at the tens place, two is at the hundreds place. So these are some things which we have learned in the previous slide. So five is at the ones place means five into one. Four is at the tens place means four into ten. Two is at the hundreds place means two into hundred. What about tens and hundreds? Now these are written on the right hand side of ones which shows that tens and hundreds are smaller places than ones. So please observe the difference. It is not tens, it is tenths. Similarly, this is not hundreds, this is hundreds. So the moment we are talking about places which are smaller than ones, you use terms like tenths, hundreds, thousands and so on. So what happens in this case, tenths would mean what? Because when you go to tens from ones, you multiply by ten. When you go to hundreds from tens, you again multiply with ten. So it becomes ten into ten hundred. Now when you are going to a smaller place than ones, then you would divide by ten. So what happens in this case? So one is the digit in the tenths place. So one will be multiplied by one by ten or we can say one divided by ten. Similarly, you go to hundreds place. So it is further divided by 10. So divided by 10 divided by 10. So it becomes 6 into 1 by 100. So that is basically 6 divided by 100. So in this fashion, this time you are getting a quite different number. Now, many a times people might say that, okay, if we have 5 digits, we would call it 2 into 10,000 into plus 4 into 1000 plus 5 into 100 plus 1 into 10 plus 6 into 1. But that is not the case because 6 is not at the 1's place. We are saying that 5 is at the 1's place. So now if we want to find out the value of this number, what do we need to do? So we will add all of these together and the moment we add these together, we get 200 plus 40 plus 5 plus 1 by 10 plus 6 by 100. Now we have seen 200 plus 40 plus 5 becomes 245 plus 1 by 10 would be 0.1. Similarly 6 by 100 would be 0 0.06. So we have actually the, written the values of these fractions. Now again please do not confuse yourself like how you will write the values of fractions because we will learn that a little later. So 245 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.06. So this becomes 245 plus 245.16. So what is this point? This point is nothing but the decimal point. Now can you tell me what is the decimal point actually doing here? What is the purpose of the decimal point here? Now the decimal point acts as a separator which separates the whole number part and the fractional part because when you look at this, this part was whole number part. It had whole numbers whereas this part was fractional part. Now these whole number part and the fractional parts they were joined together with the help of these decimal points. So anything that you have on the left of the decimal point is whole number part. Anything which is there on the right of the decimal point is fractional part. So basically this is the whole number part and this is the fractional part. And the decimal point acts as a separator between the whole number part and the fractional part. So how will we read this number? 245.16. So this number becomes 245.16. So this is the way we read decimal numbers. 
So with this introduction, I think it is now clear what are decimal numbers, why do we need them and how do we form decimal numbers. Okay, now we will discuss in detail about these decimal places that is basically the tenths place and the hundredths place. So let us discuss about them in little more detail. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.